And welcome back. Uh, we want to show you something. And before we do that, we want to say this. We had nothing to do with this, and we're not advising anyone to do anything like this. But we were just on that side of the parking lot doing a live shot. And we want to be clear. We are in the, the parking lot of uh, Faith uh, Wesleyan Church. And we have permission to be here. Uh, but we look up, and we showed you a piano in the church rubble uh, earlier. And a woman showed up and got up there and started to play. And as I said, we're not advising anyone to do anything like this. We just saw it happening and thought we would show it to you. She said she was driving down the road and saw a piano and thought that someone should be playing that piano. Her name is Tracy Coates. We're seeing more and more powerful video after a deadly tornado ripped through our area. Take a look at this video here. This is out of Cleveland, where homes were completely ripped apart. This used to be a community of trailer homes, but now most of these homes are barely standing, and what was inside them lay scattered in rubble. In part to Cleveland, the tornado ripped through communities uh, there. Uh, Sydney Edwards went to Cleveland today to tell part of that story. Sydney. That's what's left of my home. There's nothing. It looks like a field of rubble. Jeffrey Nichols says his family of seven made it to the hallway of their mobile home just in time. All of my babies was there. You know, it was just horrible. And just uh, not knowing if they was alive or not was the worst thing. He looks back on what's left. They were only able to salvage some clothing. And I just thank God that we're still here. He says neighbors and first responders helped them after the storm. Folks like Dennis Tweed have been in the Lowry Street area clearing debris. In this particular area is as bad as behind any hurricane we've been to. Dennis works with Phil Taylor at CrossNet Baptist, and both have been to disaster relief sites before. We have learned how we are better together than if we are working alone. Taylor says 400 volunteers came out to assist people in Bradley County however they could. People like Mikey Humphreys, who says he doesn't want anyone in his community to feel the way he did during the storm. They've done so much for me as a student at Walker Valley. Um, I just feel like it's my part to give back, so I do what I can to give back to the community. And these folks say they will continue to help out. I mean, this is truly the volunteer state. It's people like Jeffrey right now who say they're lucky they can lean on their neighbors. I'm so grateful. You know, people really care. Sydney Edwards there with that story. I want to show you a little bit more about where we are. We are right next door to Morning Point Senior Facility. If we can get a, a little shot of, uh, of that over there, they've been doing a lot of work on that roof over there at Morning Point. You can see uh, they have done a lot of work to try to get that building uh, back in shape after these storms. Right now, let's go back to the studio to David Glenn. David. Thanks, Josh. And